Hi, it's Jeff Corhan, and it is Friday, May 15th. Thanks for joining me again for my weekly video blog. Today I'm going to talk about social media and how you can leverage its power by considering Superman and how he leveraged his superpowers. You see, we all know that Superman had these superpowers, but we forget that when he was growing up and became aware of these superpowers for the first time, he had to make a decision of whether or not he was going to use them for good or not for good. He, of course, chose to use them for good, and as a result, he got good results and reinforced those powers, making them even stronger by continuing to get those good results, and that's exactly what you and I need to be doing with social media. How does it work? Well, the communities, the social communities, and our communities in general, in our society, reinforce good things. When you're doing good things, you're supported by the community. And so when you're using social media and you're spreading a positive message, you're reinforcing the power that you and I and everybody else has. That power gets stronger, your reputation gets enhanced, you grow your business by getting more referrals because the community is coming to you because they recognize that you have good things to share. I was thinking about this this week after reading a blog post in the well-known blog Mashable, which is Mashable.com, and they were commenting on the Wall Street Journal and about how the Wall Street Journal has this policy now of controlling how their staff integrates with the social media networks. What they're basically saying is they're, they're stepping back, they're holding people back from integrating with these communities, and it begs the question, what are they afraid of? Why are they not wanting to engage with these communities? I believe it's because they're following the old model of the days when there were very few outlets, like newspapers and magazines, who controlled all of the information. As a result, we always had to listen to their spin on things, their perspective, and the social communities, the social media communities, don't allow this because the truth becomes very apparent because of the breadth and the strength of those communities. And so there's no longer that sensationalism that we used to see or that we're still seeing in publications like the Wall Street Journal, who today their lead stories about General Motors closing over a thousand plants, and other news that that has a purpose, but it's really not helping people, especially in this economy. And then I look at my own uh, local newspaper where the lead story is about this woman who uh, evidently was on a uh, drunken escapade that had some unpleasant results, but nobody got hurt, and that's on the front page. Well, now, within the publication are some positive stories, but here's the thing. When you're working with social media, you have to be congruent. You have to be authentic. That's what they do. The social media communities bring forth what's real, what's true, what's authentic. And if you're incongruent, meaning having a sensationalized story on page one, well, the stories that are in the body of the publication are not going to be as believable. So what do you do when you're using social media? Be congruent, be authentic, be who you are, spread good news, and that good news will travel well, and it will lead prospects and customers and supporters back to you. Your message will travel like a speeding bullet, and it will be more powerful than a locomotive in growing your business. Hey, thanks again for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Take care.